Well, hello again. Hope you'll forgive me. I'm a little under the weather and uh, having a little bit of trouble uh, with the cough and the sniffly nose. But uh, we're going to try to make this video anyway. Um, this video is going to cover the uh, the cam bearing installation. Uh, basically, we're still waiting on pistons and heads. And uh, we've blueprinted everything we can. We blueprinted the, the cylinder bores and as well as the main bearings on the block as well as the journals for both the pistons and the, the main journals on the crank so we're pretty happy with the numbers we see so far a uh, little bit of uncertainty but we'll we'll get to that when the time's right so uh, you can see there's the thrust washer uh, on the uh, central central bearing surface and then all the bearings are installed and the mains are torqued uh, at least temporarily um, while we wait on the uh, uh, rig for crank installation. Uh, I'm not going to do that until I fully clean the block. Um, you know, anytime these blocks come from the machine, is, oh, they're oil coated and um, to keep the surface rust down. And uh, I don't want to wash that coating off and the gunk and grime that tends to collect uh, until I'm ready to really progress with the install. So just leaving the block as it is right now and uh, until those parts are here now with one exception i am installing the uh the timing excuse me the uh, cam uh, cam bearings uh into the block there's five cam bearings on the 302 that are on pretty much in for a small block and uh those bearings need to be installed i drove them out initially before i took it to the shop so far i've installed one bearing i'll show it to you here Here's the bearing. This is a number five bearing. Um, and their bearings are numbered based on the uh, number on top of the of the main. This is number number four, number three, two, and one. Now I'm using cleavite bearings. These particular bearings come with a nice little uh, nice little note here on the flap that tells you position one through five. They are different sizes. Do not get them crossed up. They'll either be too big or too small. It'd probably be pretty obvious right off the bat. Um, and so here's the bearings. Uh, each one of the bearings has a number on it. And that number is uh, corresponds to this list of numbers that you see right here. And uh, so just don't get your bearings crossed up. Uh, try to put them in the wrong place. That would be that would be bad. So we've installed one bearing. Let's talk a little bit about installing the bearings. Um, just like removing the bearings, it takes a special tool. It takes a camshaft installation tool. Uh, potentially, you can rent one at a at a uh, auto parts supply store near you. Um, I was unable to find one near me, so I jumped off the deep end and I purchased a camshaft installer tool, also a camshaft removal tool. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it. Now, on this end is the striking surface. Uh, here's where you're going to hit it with the hammer. To motivate the bearing, here's an alignment cone. Uh, we'll show you in a minute, but the alignment cone basically uh, slides in through the first uh, first uh, bearing journal there, and uh, and keeps the tool from knocking around and drives your bearing straight. And then on the business end of this thing, uh, there is a a grommet, rubber grommet. Be sure as you use this thing that you clean it because this is where your bearing surface is going to sit while you're driving your bearing in and you don't want to drive grit, dirt, dirt grime into your bearing surface. And then this is a, a tightening nut. As you tighten this nut, expands this collet and it pushes this rubber uh, into the seal and causes it to, uh, to seal up. Let's get a bearing and I'll show you what I mean. Basically the bearing is going to ride, here's the inner surface of the bearing right in here. This is the uh, it's the critical part of the whole deal and this is something you do not want to scratch so it goes on to the rubber and slides up to the metal collet and then as you tighten this up this expands outward and then it grips your bearing tightly and firmly so when you drive it in you drive it in straight and you drive it in with with smooth hits uh, you don't have a bunch of bearing you know, moving around in any way because it's uh, snug on the rubber the rubber grommet there and then um, so uh, the other one of the other key issues with installation of bearing 
can bearings is alignment. You see the slot. Some of them have holes. This particular application is a slot. And there's a, there's a hole in the block. Uh, and this is the old delivery uh, to the bearing service. Let me set this out of the way just a second. So this is where your old delivery uh, to your bearing uh, comes from is through that slot as you can see here and through the hole that delivers oil uh, through an oil channel in the block. Let's look at that. Set those over there. Uh, let's look at that real quick. It's um, you know critically important that uh, that there's alignment. You rotate this guy around. Try to. There we go. Get a grip on it. Really need my camera person today, but I don't have her right now, so we'll make do. So if we look now, here's that cam hole, uh, the number one cam bearing surface, and you'll notice there's a hole right there, um, and this is your oil delivery hole. Uh, very critical that this hole align with the slot in the cam bearing itself, so that you get oil delivery to the cam. Uh, cam bearing. Remember main bearings, uh, your rod bearings, your camshaft bearings, these are fluidized bearings. They're not metal on metal. The intent is that you have two metal uh, portions that act as barriers and you basically have oil that fills that space. It's a fluidized bearing and so really the bearing is actually the oil. So you've got to have oil delivery. Uh, these bearings aren't meant to rub metal on metal and last any length of time at all. Uh, they will be gone quite quickly without uh, adequate oil flow. Adequate oil flow is governed by gap. It's governed by first the oil supply and then the gap between the bearing and the and the rotating surface. So critical, critical. Now I told you I put in that that rear. Uh, Where my flashlight go? I told you I put in that rear uh, cam bearing already. It's pretty difficult to figure out when you're aligned with the hole in the block. The reason is that there's also a cup that goes in here, a, a freeze plug is what it looks like, but it's just an, a cam galley uh, plug. And so this uh, bearing doesn't sit necessarily in the center of the space that's available. Uh, so you've got to make sure that it's aligned with the hole in the block. What I had to do is tap it in until the bearing uh, was in what appeared to be all the way, and to back the bearing tool out, give it a visual inspection. And in fact, you've got good alignment between the oil hole and the slot in the bearing. So we'll have good oil flow on that bearing uh, by all indication. So that one, a little bit unique because it doesn't sit in the center. Now, if you look at the rest of these, let's look at this front one. What you'll find is, uh, let me have a flashlight again. This lighting is not so great tonight. Um, but if you look at the, uh, get up here. You look at the hole, the hole is in the center of the bearing surface and or the bearing area there. And the bearing area is the same width basically as the bearing itself. So when you drive these in, it's a lot easier to align them um, as far as their in and out uh, location. Basically, you want to center them. And if they're centered, you should have good alignment with the oil hole and the slot in the cam bearing. Now, to get the cam bearing alignment, uh, in the other direction, I flip the motor again. We're going to do that fairly simply. You'll note, right, the camera, you'll notice there's a tube that extends down uh, from the hole where the oil delivery is for the main bearing. There's a tube that extends down to the cam bearing area. And this tube will give you the alignment you need for that slot. The hole that delivers oil to that bearing surface is dead center of that tube. And that tube exists um, in all cases. See that one there? And so if when you align your bearing, you take note of that hole location, then you should be able to fairly easily. Uh, here it's not so prominent, but there it is right there. So if you're slot is in alignment with that hole then you will get uh, delivery of oil to that bearing without any problem it's nice that they have slots here uh, versus just single holes so uh, 
Makes it a little simpler. You've got a little bit of freedom to uh, have the bearing cock one way or the other slightly and still have that hole dumping oil into that bearing at a good flow rate. So that's some of the critical aspects. One of the other, one of the other uh, notes about the small block Ford when it comes to uh, camshaft bearing installations, the camshaft bearings are different sizes. They start out larger and they get smaller as you go to the rear of the motor. So again, that placement of bearing is important. Uh, which bearing goes where? Because potentially your bearing is going to be either too large or too small if you put the wrong one in the wrong place. So if we go back to our bearing box and we get our next bearing, um, this bearing that will ride here in number four. Uh, basically, uh, not able to do this on camera, my apologies, but maybe I will be able to do that later. But basically, this bearing is going to get put down in there. I'm going to give it just a little start, just so it's kind of stuck in there momentarily. And then I'm going to slide this little wonderful tool um, up through the cam holes, the cam bearing holes, passages, and I'm going to mate it there with that cam bearing uh, once it's down there and in place I'm going to tighten up the nut on the end to expand the collet and I'm just going to basically drive it in place so it's really not a lot to see um, there's several a number of other videos out there on it but uh, listen take your time be patient I cleaned out these <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I cleaned out these areas um, of the uh, bearing bearing areas before I uh, began the installation and then whenever I give the block its final cleaning before uh, assembly then these bearing surfaces will get cleaned again uh, with solvent and then uh, and of course we install the cam when we use lots of assembly lube so we'll have clean bearing surfaces we'll have uh, uh, assembly lube on the cam and so we should get good good makeup good riding on the cam good everything so Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this task, and uh, then we'll move on. Thank you. Well, just to finish up this uh, camshaft, uh, the cam bearing installation, I just wanted to cover uh, a couple things. One, on this front camshaft bearing, uh, instead of one oil port, it actually has two with a uh, small trough in between. This is to get oil around to here which oils the retainer ring against the front of the cam. So uh, that one, besides being smaller, uh, or excuse me, larger, um, is also uh, intended to, to oil the uh, cam retainer ring. So that one actually has two holes uh, with this slot in between to allow oil flow uh, into the retainer ring. So uh, all five cam bearings are in. I uh, just want to give you a, maybe a word of caution uh, whenever you tighten that uh, collet on the camshaft driver, when you tighten it up against the uh, against the bearing before you drive it in, be sure it's nice and tight. I uh, kind of got lazy on one of them, didn't tighten it enough, and uh, it had expanded the collet, and the collet went under the bearing basically. Um, and this is the result: the uh, inside of the cam bearing torn all up. Uh, you can't get single cam bearings for this motor that come in sets of five so anybody needs four extra cam bearings they can give me a holler um, just missing one this one I'll even send you this one if you want it <laughs> don't think it's much good so just do me a favor tighten up that uh, that camshaft driver before you begin to or bearing driver before you begin to drive them in nice and snug make sure that the bearings uh, got no chance of creeping up over the collet and causing that kind of damage Anyway, they're in. Next thing we're going to start on, we're going to start sizing our, uh, our piston rings and getting those ready uh, while we're waiting on our things to come back from the shop. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. Thanks.